welcome to Grandad Reviews. In this video we're going to have another look at the bird detect on the new XH2S. Now in my previous video I went to a bird flying demonstration and which is a very setup type of uh, operation and the birds were flying quickly across and back and a few people said well that's slightly uh, pushing the camera to more than what it's capable of. So I thought this time I'll go to a proper nature reserve, went down to the Eggleton Nature Reserve at Rutland Water. So doing something more representative of what I normally do with uh, wildlife photography, especially uh, birds and such like. So we're there with those egrets, uh, there was obviously seagulls, there was gannets, there was more hens, there were ducks, everything you could think of, uh, even a marsh area there as well. And I tried different settings on the camera just to see if it worked any better in a, a normal situation. A norm, if you went out with this camera to do bird photography and you went to a nature reserve or a pond or a, a canal or anywhere in, out in the wild. So this is what this was like. So we'll have a look at the footage. I'll do a bit of a voiceover as we go through the footage and then we'll see what our conclusions were. So here we are at a uh, nature reserve and first we've got a, a duck going around. It quite easily finds it and locks on. I'll take a couple of shots here. Yeah, even though you can still see it jumps around. Here we've got an egret in a bit of a distance. It's got its head and it's reasonably well locked on. And then it loses the head for a second. But even when it walks, as you can see, it is following it, which is, yeah, excellent. We've got a duck coming into land. And this goose was slightly behind some grasses, but as you can see, it's still got the head. But it's very, very nervous. The box is in and out, in and out. And it's found this other little egret, even through the grass, which is, you know, it's amazing that it can catch it. But even when the bird's not moving, as you can see, the box is very nervous. It's jumping around quite a bit. With this one in the distance, walking along. It's got it, and now and again it'll just just jump. Now this was a long way off, and amazingly it, it spotted it. I'm quite impressed on how well it followed it. These again were across the the banks. The birds are quite small in the uh, view, so even on small on the sensor. But as you can see, it tracked them quite successfully. Again, this bird's not moving much. But the box is a little bit nervous. This was a bit closer in the sky, but it's following it, yeah, excellently. It spots the birds very easily. It's just that you're not guaranteed that when that green that box turns green that it actually is in focus. This was a hawk flying around, again at some distance, but as you can see, even though the box went green, the bird was not in focus. And it's lost it against the, the sky, but gets it again. A bit closer this time. But as I say, even though the box goes green, it doesn't always actually have the subject, in this case the bird, in focus. This is a little swift bombing round and it even picked that up. Quite a fast flying duck, but it was in green but not in focus. And with the seagulls, it, yep, it, as I say, it's spotting the birds really easily and it's following them quite well it's 
just that you're not guaranteed that when that box is green and you take that shot, it actually is in focus. Now this was a number of birds flying. It doesn't seem to be shooting around to different ones that much. It's actually picking one and staying there. In this case, this was a very not moving bird. And as you can see, it was, the box is still doing a bit of jumping. Now, this was quite a way off across the, one of the lagoons. Dark background, busy background, but it still found the bird. Now, the water was very shiny here. I mean, a lot of glare, but it still caught them. Now in these egrets, it actually was quite, quite dark. There's a lot of shade, but the uh, camera is finding the birds easily, tracking the heads. When it loses the heads, it goes full body, which is quite good. But when the box is green, it's not always guaranteed you're in focus. The box just seems very, very for a better word, nervous. It's following the bird quite a bit there. It was green, but it was out of focus. It's just having that trust that the autofocus is working correctly. Got a lot closer. And I actually found the eye. Tracking this one coming into land. Yeah, and it does a pretty good job. And this was a really fast turn coming in to uh, catch fish. And it was still tracking it. So yeah, my experience so far is it picks the birds up really, really easily. It tracks them quite well, but it just doesn't guarantee that it's going to be in focus when it goes green. So you've seen the video now and heard what I've commented on as we went through. And as you can see, the camera is excellent at spotting the birds even at a quite a, a good distance away but where it falls down is locking on and staying locked on it'll show a green box as if it's in focus you'll take a shot and when you review it it's not in focus it's not staying locked on it's like it's always looking for another bird another subject outside of whatever it's already spotted uh, I think Fuji, if you're listening, I doubt you are, but if you are, just look at your algorithm so that when the camera's spotted a bird and you've locked it on by either half pressing or back button, uh, focusing and got the green box, that's it. Don't look for anything else. Just stay locked on that one bird and make sure it actually is in focus. But otherwise, it's excellent. Uh, I'm quite impressed on how well it finds the birds, even with busy backgrounds and everything else. So, yeah, it's excellent for that. Just needs a bit of fine tweaking. Fine tweaking to you to be able to trust that it's in focus and it's going to take that shot in focus. So I'm going to do a few more videos um, on how it tracks and such like and other features of the X-H2S. I haven't got the camera now because it's gone back. Uh, but I've shot a lot of uh, footage and uh, we'll work our way through it. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see you later.